Chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. Dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard. Why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. Right 
The ground looks weak down here, Father. That gear looks like it would freeze. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. It might be easier to break that ground from up there. the ground from up there? Key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? Our mining rigs are not the only sin I committed in Svartalfheim. Mining rig sure spit out a lot of smoke. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the ace here in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. It's gotta be the right spot.
barrels. I smell fuel. I bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. Break through the ground here if you found a high enough place to drop from. <laughs> Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. Mm. One or two tried. Mm. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help. Don't think we can reach it there. So hard.
to the wall. We gotta knock it down. Swipe straight, brother. On your left. Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost up to themselves. survived because of you. I am not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thamor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thamor's son. Frimther, who built the walls of Asgard and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Ah, but enough of that for now. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> The 
dwarves didn't like working for Asgard. Couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. <laughs> Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. That's clever. And awful. <clears throat> So see to Moosbahan. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet. It was fun. It was training. Didn't have fun? Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. A little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. Whoa! 
Is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. It is done. If you could call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Spartalfine slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. The air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rig. Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. I'm here for you. Might be my best piece yet today. A good fit. Wear it with pride. Be safe. that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. That's the voice I heard. I hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. Bokker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. <sighs> this creature, you enslaved it. 
Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. <laughs> 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 done. If you could... <laughs> for the other fin. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. Your brother. I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. <laughs> Anything illuminating? That was a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Never anger your feeling. 
forever loathing toward me. It's nothing to what I've said to myself. was hiding some sort of device. dock down there, but it looks like it's locked. Maybe that dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. Mm -hmm. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made? No. I thought... I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. <clears throat> You 
could still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. Down that rope should take us where we need to go. Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother? Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet. <laughs> this creature. The mining room. Their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. 
That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. On you great blubbering beast! Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no, no, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Back to Thor Noden stories? Where were we? There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. And we'll just stop there for now. We going to Durland? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Oh, I know. There was God. The Queen of the Hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. Enough. We will continue later. Should we get back to listing all the awful deeds of the Aesir gods? There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. Old. We will finish later. For Darlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no. 
Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> here to collect on something, pal? Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I. Wondered where she went after a little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Play it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, as I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you know, but it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, it's here. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Yeah. 